Hey guys, Nick Horton here, the Iron Samurai, and this is another episode of Weightlifting Academy. Today I have got a drill for you that works on both the snatch and the clean. I wouldn't have an absolute rank beginner doing this necessarily, but if you're a beginner past that first few weeks of learning phase, then I would certainly throw you in on something like this, and it's also useful for lifters who are otherwise more advanced. This is the kind of thing you can just keep pulling out of your trick bag and using again and again and again because it really cuts to the heart of what needs to be done in order to lift big weights and catch big weights. There are two components to this drill, most obviously called the butt and the stomp. The first happens obviously at the hip position when the barbell is there and you just flex your butt as hard and fast as you possibly can. The second happens when you catch the bar, you should stomp at the exact same time. It shouldn't be pop, pop, like you stomp and then you catch. Instead, the catch, if it's a snatch for instance, you're gonna catch it in your hands the instant that you stomp. And you should be intentionally stomping on this drill. That doesn't mean that stomping is something you're gonna do for the rest of your life. Some lifters actually do, a lot of other lifters don't. That's more of an individual thing, but for learning, for the sake of learning, you should be aggressively trying to stomp in this drill so that you can time it with the bar landing on your shoulder at the exact second that the stomp hits the wood of the platform, or if you're on uh, mats or something, or concrete, then it's gonna hit that. There you go. Notice when the hips hit the bar, when the barbell and the hips made sweet contact, the butt, I mean, you couldn't really notice this unless you had x-ray vision, but the butt was intentionally being flexed. And athletes who've been doing this kind of thing for a really long time, they don't realize that's what they're doing. That's sort of like when you go and you jump. If you're just going to try to jump, like a box jump or something, you don't intentionally flex your quads. But that's because you already know how to do that really well. The problem is that you probably don't know how to use your glutes to actively move your hips into full extension. It's really a hyperextension, actually. And that is something that you can learn. You can learn to do it by just making it active all of the damn time. Every single time you do a clean or a snatch, you should be trying on purpose to flex your ass as hard and fast as you possibly can. It's useful to think of this as a musical drill. There should be a cadence to it. Pop, 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 like that. You explode as fast as you possibly can, and almost instantaneously afterwards, there's that. Now, it's going to be just a little bit of time, kind of like a double bass. If you ever heard one of those? Pop, 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 like that. And this is what we're doing here. Pop off the hips, pam, and you're already there. It should be immediate, right next to each other. Now, obviously, if you stomp first and then you catch the bar, that would actually not be only two sounds, that would be three. You don't want that. You don't want it to be pop, pop, and then finally the bar lands into its position. That's complete bullshit. You want to make sure the bar and the stomp happen at exactly the same time and that these two things happen right next to one another. A tendency, warning, that people can do that's not right is to undercut the explosion at the hips to kind of half-ass this. You don't want to half-ass, you want to whole-ass this. And the reason they half-ass it is so they can quickly get over here, right? So yeah, you're trying to shorten the distance and make this faster, the, the change, but you don't want to undercut this explosion. This is how you lift more weight up into the sky. This is how you catch it. Don't forget to go to weightliftingacademy.com and sign up for free so that you can become stronger in your mind and your body combined. Weightliftingacademy.com